Hi everybody, it's Miss Jessica from the Tech at Lowell Branch Library and welcome to another Tech STEM Minute. Today we're going to be making and working with some fake foaming snow. For this experiment, you'll need two large bowls or plates, some baking soda, some dish soap, some vinegar, some measuring cups, and some water. The first thing you're going to want to do is take some of your baking soda and measure out one cup of it. I got a little bit extra on the plate there, that's okay. And just pour that right on your plate. Now you're going to take your water and measure out three tablespoons and pour it right on top of the baking soda. Set that to the side there. And then you're going to get your hands dirty and you're going to mix all this together. You want to get this looking where it's about the consistency of a dough. This is way too crumbly. So what I can do is just add a, more water little by little at a time. Okay, this is looking pretty good now. You should be able to mold with it, maybe even make a little snowman, which is what I'm gonna do really quick. <laughs> There's my little snowman. Now you're going to put this plate to the side, grab that second plate, and we're gonna work on doing the same process again, but with one small change. Okay, I have my second plate here. Like I said, we're pretty much going to repeat the same process. However, this time in between adding the cup of baking soda and the three tablespoons of water, we're going to add a teaspoon of dish soap in between the baking soda and the water to add that extra element. So I've got my cup. I'm gonna measure out another cup of baking soda. Now we're going to add that teaspoon of dish soap. And our three tablespoons of water. And just like before, you can add water little by little until you get it to that right doughy consistency. Again, get your hands dirty, mix all of this together. Like I did before with the first one, I'm just going to make another little snowman. And you can make whatever type of creation you like. Just be sure you can tell the difference between the two mixtures um, on your first plate and your second plate. So this actually has a little bit of blue from my dish soap, so that's how I'm gonna be able to tell the mixture, but you might want to make a label that says this is the mixture with soap, or you might want to put a post-it note on it that says that. That way you can make sure you know the difference between the two. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my first plate now. 
I have my first mixture back here with just the water and the baking soda. Now I'm going to take my vinegar, make sure I've washed out my cup measuring cup, and measure out a cup of vinegar. Now I'm going to take this vinegar and I'm going to pour it over top of my little snowman here all at once. Wow, can you hear that fizzing? Now I have my second mixture again and we are again going to repeat the same process. So take that one cup measuring cup, pour out a cup of vinegar, and we're going to pour it all over our second creation at once as well. Pay attention and see if you can notice a difference in what happens. Whoa, I can't hear as much fizzing this time and look at that foam, it's even foaming off the plate. Wow. So why do we see the fizzing and foaming when we pour the vinegar over our fake snow mixtures? Well, that vinegar is what we call an acidic liquid and the snow mixtures have baking soda, which we call an alkaline substance in them. When you mix the alkaline substance and the acidic liquid, it creates a chemical reaction creating carbon dioxide gas along with the watery liquid. If you were to pour a more neutral or non-acidic liquid like milk or water over your fake snow mixture, you wouldn't see a reaction at all. The reaction you saw pouring the vinegar over the first snow mixture where it was bubbling up and making the fizzing sound was that carbon dioxide gas bubbling up through the watery liquid to the surface and being released into the air. Kind of like what we saw when we made the lava lamps. Now when we created the second fake snow mixture, we added an extra element to the chemical reaction between the acidic liquid or the vinegar and the alkaline substance or the baking soda by adding the soap. The soap has what we call surface active agents. What that is able to do is it's able to reduce the surface tension of that watery liquid that's created in the chemical reaction, or basically strengthen the outer layer of that watery liquid. So when the carbon dioxide gas is trying to bubble up and be released into the air, it gets caught underneath that stronger surface of the watery liquid and isn't able to escape, creating the foam that we saw. If you would like to learn more about acidic liquids, alkaline substances, or surface tension, be sure to check out the link to the Science Buddies website for this experiment in the description down below. Thanks for joining me for another Tech STEM Minute. I'll see you all next time.